What's up guys, I'm Ryan Triard, and in this video I'm going to be giving you a guide on how you should prepare for the new DLC for Destiny, Rise of Iron. That will be coming out September 20th, 2016, and that's that seems like a really far away, but that only gives you about 98 days to prepare yourself. And if you really want to get yourself ahead of the game, start now, get your motes of light, get your armor materials, and let's go ahead and get on with the video all right let's get into some of the things that you should probably start saving up on and you should probably start saving up on modes of light strange coins heavy synths, special ammo synthesis armor materials weapon parts materials like spin metal healing filaments relic iron spear bloom and legendary marks now you're probably saying how in the world am i going to save legendary marks when the cap is 200 well I'll let you know later on in the video now this is all the items that I'm going to be saving up for I might be saving up for items on here that I won't list but if I do find like a bunch of things that you should probably save up on and I will I will make an update video for you guys so you could go ahead hit that subscribe button if you're new and let's go let's go ahead and touch base on how you should save up for months of light now, modes of light is going to come very it's going to be very crucial when the dlc drops because a it's going to be your number one source to level up weapons and armor so it, having a lot of modes of light is really going to help when you're like oh i just got this really good scout rifle let me go ahead and max it out real quick dump a couple modes in it boom it's maxed it's maxed out you go ahead upgrade it and you have all the perks and stuff that comes with the scout rifle or so on and so forth sniper armor piece headpiece doesn't really matter but that is the general idea of getting it so some of the ways that you should save up some of the ways on how you could save up on moats is public events public events is very important because if you do one public event on all three of your characters one public event will give you five moats of light so if you do that on each of your characters which if you have three you'll have 15 moats of light every day and there's 98 days until it comes out so 15 times 98 1455 motes already stocked in your inventory ready to be used for rise of iron now this is just if you're doing public events these could take up to 20 to 30 minutes it really depends on wherever the public event is and there's a site called destinypublicevents.com it will help you let you know whenever a public event is about to spawn in on either the earth moon mars or venus happens on either or and it'll tell you whenever it's coming in it's in a five minute span so bear with it if it says minus four and it still hasn't spawned it could possibly spawn at the last five minutes but the minus five so that is one of the ways that you could save up on moats Another way is if you grab the bounties every day and you do them. Some of these bounties could take you not even 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. And if you do them, you could turn them in, give yourself experience, which if you do that, you can max out your XP bar and that gives you five modes of light. Or it upgrades your faction and you could go to your faction, get your package that will give you four modes of light and four strange coins as well. So right there, if you do that on top of the public events you're already looking at maybe 1800 modes of light maybe almost close to 2000 and that's just that's just that is the icing on the cake all right next thing you could do on your free time is just hop into the prison of elders honestly prison of elders is not that bad and it's not that good either it gives you modes of light from the three chests at the end and also same with the strange coins so if you really want to stockpile really quick on that just do prison of elders you can also go ahead and revisit crota's end and vault of glass to get yourself your radiant energy or radiant materials or your ascendant materials and with those materials you can go ahead go talk to the speaker and you can turn it in for modes of light as you can see like if you do that on all three characters every week you're guaranteeing yourself close to over 2500 on top of doing the public events so right now dude you're already at a bunch of modes of light there's also one more way that you can farm a lot of modes of light is if you just turn in engrams doing that 
you could get a nice chance at getting a motor light to drop or a strange coin so you're really testing your luck there this is mostly for getting your weapon parts and armor materials really really fast as you see every time you scrap it gives you uh, two two three or sometimes one armor material or weapon part so that is a really cool way on how you could get that fast without really farming but if you want weapon parts on the on the instant you can go ahead go visit the gunsmith turn in your glimmer for weapon parts to give you five for 250 so that's a really good deal so you could go ahead snatch them up and i will probably save up over 2,000 weapon parts and then you should be fine i would take the rest of your glimmer and start buying synthesis because heavy ammo synthesis is going to be very important which you'll find out later on in the video Another thing that you should be looking at is Varix. Varix is going to come very handy in this because he's going to be your number one source for spin metal, helium filaments, relic iron, or spirit bloom. Whenever you are rank 2 or rank 3 with Varix, you can go to him every week and grab a package. That package can consist of synthesis, glimmer, ether seeds, and a lot of materials. So you could take the ether seeds and glimmer and buy more heavy synths from Varix because he has a really good deal on heavy synths there other than the gunsmith who has a very pricey heavy ammo synth or you could go to Zur and buy heavy ammo synths with your strange coins from him as well. That is probably your number one source of getting your heavy ammo synths and it's probably the best way to get heavy ammo synths. Now, now we're coming closer to the legendary marks and how you're going to save them up. But whenever you do King's Fall raid and you get your materials and your weapons and armor that you don't want majority of the people just scrap it don't scrap it throw it in your vault you have 108 spots for a reason obviously in the rise of iron we're going to get some more vault space oh i'm hoping we're going to get more vault space i'm not telling you that we're getting it i'm we're probably more than likely going to get it so go ahead throw it in there and each each of the weapons that you throw in there is three legendary marks now if you upgrade a little bit it'll be four marks if you upgrade it some more it'll be five marks you can do the same thing for armor and right there you're stockpiling a lot of legendary marks without having to be able to farm uh the daily um the daily crucible the daily mission or doing the the weekly mayhem crucible or whatever it is honestly i don't even know I don't do it so I I really don't know much from that but that is the number one way that he could save legendary marks and is part of the best way also what you want to save is throwing your materials in there whenever you get them just throw them in there save it and your axiomatic beads your house banners and number keys and silken codex that is your glimmer the the cards the little 200 glimmer that you get from killing bosses and you could go ahead and turn it into to the cryptarch and get yourself glimmer i will go ahead save them throw them in the vault so you have extra glimmer whenever the dlc comes out so having extra glimmer isn't bad because honestly if they don't raise the glimmer cap then having a little extra does not hurt but there is one more crucial thing that you need to know why is heavy ammo synthesis so important now this is going to be your number one. This is a tip on what you're going to do when the DLC drops. You will you will be pledged to either Dead Orbit, New Monarchy, or Future Future War Cult. They're going to have gear and weapons uh, for that faction, and whenever you rank them up, you will get a armor piece, or a weapon, or a shader, emblem, a ship. But if you have a lot of materials saved up. You could turn that in for rep. So, as you see, as it pops up, you'll have you could turn in five motes for 100 rep. You could turn in 25 weapon parts for 50 rep. 25 armor materials for 50 50 rep. Four special ammo synths for 25 rep, and one heavy ammo synth for 25 rep, and 25 um, material exchange for 25 rep. That is your helium filament, spin metal, relic iron, spear boom. It's random each week, so whatever it is. You could turn it in for that. I definitely would not recommend it. It is not a good deal. So each rank has its cap at 2,500 
and whenever you hit that you go ahead get a package and it resets you back to zero and it increases your level but if you just spam your materials into it you can get package after package after package and you can keep getting more weapons and gear from that so to, in order to get yourself a package you need to turn in 125 motes and that will equal a package if you have if you turn in 1250 weapon parts that will also give you a package if you turn in 1250 armor materials that will give you a package if you turn in 400 special ammo sense that will give you a package and if you turn in 100 heavy ammo sense that will give you a package and 1250 material exchange will give you a package now this number one thing that you need to focus on is heavy ammo sense 100 heavy ammo sense for one package that is a deal <laughs> like heavy ammo sense are really easy to get in this game because of the strange coins and the glimmer so if you could stockpile on a lot of heavy ammo sense you could get yourself a lot of faction rep really fast when the dlc drops so you can have your armor and your gear really really fast and if they if they keep the light system like they did for Taken King where you have a certain item that's that light and the next item that you get is higher light, you can just do this over and over and over again until you get higher and higher and higher. And then once you're out of materials, you'll be at a really high light and you'll probably be the recommended light for the raid that day when the DLC drops. And maybe the raid might come out a few days after, maybe the raid might come out that day. But if the raid comes out that day, you'll be already prepared to do the raid that day, just from saving up from all the way back in June. So, I don't know about you, I would definitely like to be prepared right off the bat because I really don't like grinding over and over and over again. Now, I don't know about you, that sounds like a really good deal to be ready to go right on the day the raid comes out or ready to go whenever the raid will come out maybe they'll do the same thing like they did for king's fall they had the dlc come out on tuesday and then king's fall came out on a friday that'd be pretty cool if they do that because it gives people time to prepare themselves for it and if you're already doing this then you're well you're well advanced for it so you can get yourself the kind of perks that you want the kind of intellect discipline strength build that you want you get your perfect build that you want before the raid even comes out because you have prepared yourself for the dlc so that's basically it for the guide like if you have any questions comments or concerns leave them and just put them in the comment section below i'll try to reply to all of you guys and uh, that's basically it for the video if you enjoyed be sure to hit the like button and if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. I don't really do this kind of stuff on my channel, but if you really want me to, just put it in the comments below. I can do more tips and tricks and guides on what to do in the game for when Rise of Iron comes out. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. I'm Monitored. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.